So this is my top five Magic the Gathering channels. So these are channels that I subscribe to, of course, and watch myself. And these are the top five that I recommend to, su to subscribe to. Bad Wolf MTG. I admit mostly because she's cute. <laughs> but the other thing is, is mainly because it's a female player channel. It's a channel of a female player that actually plays the game. So that's useful. Um, there's technically another channel I, I watch that has a female player that plays Magic. But her content is uh, here and there. She plays the game, but her content is here and there. More just vlogs than uh, actual constant, you know, magic content. While Battle Wolf MTG does push out a lot of uh, content. She's been doing some craft magic stuff, you know, where she's being creative, which is cool and all. But I want more card related stuff. That's she's number five. Number four, Rogue Deck Builder. I subscribe for both Rogue and Meta decks so I can see what people are playing, see what certain decks are, because sometimes you hear the name of a, of a deck like Delver or something, or Dredge or or, Eldr or an Eldrazi deck or whatever. You, you hear names, um, you hear stuff like Tiny Leaders, Popper, you know, EDH commander, whatever you want to call it, you know, you hear things like that. So, you know, to, to be able to get the information, we're like, all right, well, this is what a, you know, out abs and deck looks like, you know, and whatnot. It's useful so that you know what is being played out there, what is popular. And then, you know, you can learn from that, of course, create your own stuff. And I, you know, like making my own stuff, not to follow the lead. I like to be the leader, right? So, he's number four. Number three, the mana source. Mainly for product reviews and news that pertain to Magic the Gathering itself, among other things like top tens or whatever. Uh, you know, they, he puts on his channel. As you can see, he's giving you the spoilers for uh, Battle of Zendikar, which is good, you know, to know what these cards are. As well as, you know, he puts his own input of how these cards will be used, which is also useful, you know. You want to know what cards are good and what, what, what they could, how they can be used, more so than just knowing their names and their effects. Because sometimes you don't know if a card is good or not. Just by hearing its effect, like sometimes you'll hear an effect, and I'm like, eh, not so great. But then when you when you constantly see it in action, it's like, okay, that card is actually great. You know what I mean? You know, an opinion is an opinion, but sometimes seeing is believing. So being able to get information for stuff like that is very useful to know how a card can be used more so than just what it does and its name. Number two. Talarian Academy, you know, oops, character, you know, the professor, his, you know, character persona is entertaining, so it's enjoyable, of course, um, a lot of magic related content, um, deck profiles, deck analysis, uh, news, uh, you know, um, but mainly I do like, and what, what got me to subscribe to him initially was his TCG Supply uh, reviews where he will show you the difference between you know certain sleeves certain deck boxes binders stuff like that that are essential to helping preserve your cards so they're in good condition because you never know at some point you might stop playing the game which I believe is never but if that ever happens <laughs> uh, you want to keep your cards in good condition because you might want to sell them off and people really only want to purchase stuff that's in really really good condition and you know you can get a large majority of your money back so it's an investment but um also just you just want your cards to last longer so good sleeves good deck boxes that stuff matters especially when you're playing competitively or even casually you want that knowledge and he provides it for you in a school like fashion which you know I kinda like makes me feel like I'm literally in a Talarian community college 
So he's done a great job for that. And number one. The Magic the Gathering YouTube channel itself. Largely, I'm, I'm subscribed for, you know, product announcements, but uh, tournament coverage. That's the main thing. And um, Walking the Plains. I like that. That little series. You know, it's pretty pretty funny and entertaining. And I think they also are the ones that have the Friday Night series. You know, we got characters who, you know, hang out Friday night basically and play Friday Night Magic. So, I like that. That I watch those videos. I watch, obviously, the, um, you know, player interviews and tournament coverages, product videos, and walking the planes. Those are the main contents that I enjoy from this channel. And those are my top five videos of Magic the Gathering channels to subscribe to. So go subscribe.